We start with breaking news five months in the making. Even though he's been indicted and he might do some time, we're going to still hurt. This afternoon, a grand jury indicted Portsmouth Police Officer Stephen Rankin on first-degree murder in a deadly officer-involved shooting. This stems from that shooting in April in the Walmart parking lot on Frederick Boulevard. State police say Officer Rankin shot and killed 18-year-old William Chapman II. Court paperwork says the grand jury found Rankin did willfully, deliberately, and with premeditation kill and murder Chapman. Ten of your side's Andy Fox is live in Portsmouth where the city's Commonwealth's attorney just made a statement. Andy? Yes, uh, Tom, I'm just getting word from Nicole Belode, who is Stephen Rankin's attorney. She's actually texting me right now that he will be in court tomorrow. He has turned himself in, and there will be a bond hearing and a determination of counsel tomorrow at 930. He has turned himself in. Uh, we believe that he will be uh, kept at the Portsmouth City Jail in isolation, but he will be in court tomorrow at 930. He was arraigned on the two charges, first degree murder and use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. Stephanie Morales, the Commonwealth's attorney, spoke about it earlier. I submit to you that it is paramount for everyone to respect the judicial process. The Office of the Commonwealth's attorney will prosecute this matter diligently in the circuit court for the city of Portsmouth and not in the court or of the public opinion or through the media. It means that nobody can do any Nobody can do wrong. It don't mean if, you, if you're a police officer, that don't give you the right to do anything. All lives matter, and you had no right to take him away. You know, he has no life. He cannot grow up and go to college. There's nothing he can do. While you was home and you continued to work, my son couldn't do that. Two days after my son got killed, he got called for two jobs. But I was, had to tell them that my son is no longer here. No longer here, a broken-hearted mother, Sally Chapman. On April 22nd, Liz Palka, my colleague, you met her for the first time. What do you want to say about what's happened between then and now you were one of the first reporters on the story? Right, yeah, I covered it since the beginning, Andy. And one thing that has stood out to me, the very next day after William Chapman was shot and killed, Sally uh, spoke at a news conference saying that she believed that her son was murdered. Uh, and today a grand jury is standing by that as well and almost uh, vindicating what she said uh, back in April. She said today she is very pleased with the latest uh, uh, news today, the developments. She says this is a step in the right direction. She's also very grateful this case wasn't ignored because she says a lot of times over the last couple of months she's felt alone, but she doesn't feel that way today. Her attorney, John Babineau, also telling me a few days ago the fact that Morales was even seeking an indictment vindicates what Sally Chapman has said this whole time. The accusations against her son were not correct. She believed her son was wrongfully killed. We did ask Ms. Chapman about some of that during the news co conference. Take a listen to what she had to say. He would never do anything wrong. He would never steal, no fighting back, nothing like that. My son is a talker, very soft-spoken. He was no threat to the officer or anybody. The NAACP president was here at the news conference today. James Boyd said he did not uh, want to talk on camera, but he did give a statement saying that, again, uh, today's indictment sends a strong message throughout the community that the badge is not above the law. And they also told me they'll be holding a news conference either tomorrow or Monday about this case. And Sally Chapman, so far, right now, she thinks justice has been served. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a step in the right direction. Back to you guys. All right, Wavy.com has complete coverage of today's decision and everything that led up to it. We have a timeline of events, and you can find all of our previous coverage of the shooting. You'll also find a copy of the indictment on the homepage.